Okay, we got a quick one today. Just want to talk about the selection pseudo element. So this is a CSS selector that allows you to target what I just did here, selecting something on the page. So right now I've got no styles attached to that. So by default, white background, black text, when I select something in Chrome, this is the color that I'm getting. So I get this light blue color. Now we can change the styling. Now it's very limited in what you can and can't do here. I can change the cursor, I can change the um, background color, the text color, uh, I can even add text shadow. Those are really the four that I'm going to get support for in all the browsers. Now there are a handful of other CSS properties and uh, we'll look at those but we're not going to find support for them right here right now. Okay, so in my CSS I've got some default uh, font stylings for the HTML tag, the body, I've got a background color and uh, text color set up here. I'm going to add a CSS class here uh, for dark, so a dark mode. Just give me a little bit something more to work with. Uh, so we'll say that the background color when we go to the dark mode is going to be a really dark charcoal gray and our color for the text will say E4, E4, E4 and that'll give me a really, really light gray. Okay, now, in the class right now for the body, there's nothing. Uh, down here inside of my script tag at the bottom, I'm just adding a double-click event to toggle this CSS dark class. So it's going to turn it on and off when I toggle. And here we double-click, and you can see that I go back and forth between light and dark mode. Okay. Now, with that done, let's do something with selection. So I'm going to say when... I've got the white background on the page, that default white background with dark gray text. I want to have a selection background color, which is going to be opposite this one. So we'll go with that dark gray and the color for the selection we'll say is going to be white. All right. Now on my page, when I select something, there we go. I've got the white text with, or almost white text with the black or almost black background. All right, simple enough. Now double clicking, that's not gonna work that well for us. The black on the almost black and then the white on the almost white text. So I'm gonna come in here and say, when I've got this dark class attached to the body, so we'll say dark, then the selection pseudo element, I'm gonna use the reverse. So I'm going to take these two and I'm going to flip them. And we'll say that the background color is going to be the white or almost white. We can use that E4, E4, E4. And my color for the text is going to be that dark gray. All right. So double click the page and we select. There we go. So we've changed. We've got the light gray background with dark text. Or when we come back here, it's the dark selection with light colored text. Now you don't have to stick with just black and white. We could do something else. We could say, okay, the background color is going to be light salmon. And I'm going to use maroon as my color when I'm in the dark mode. So there you go. You can see we can choose whatever we like. Oop. No pound sign in front of maroon. It's a named color. So there's the white still the same, and we've got the different one here. And as I was saying, there's other properties that we can go in here. We can use the cursor. Let's make it the help and text shadow. If you want to use that for some reason, um, 2px, 2px, and the blur of 4px, and we'll use cornflower blue as the color for our shadow. So there's a blue shadow inside of there a little bit. And, oh, I'm not even getting my cursor here. So the cursor, another one of those ones that doesn't quite work. Uh, there is a caray color. Where when you make a selection inside of here, you can see that the cursor, this mouse cursor turns into the caray, and that is still going to be the same color. So we've got very little support for anything other than really background color and color. 
yeah, there is text shadow, but that doesn't give us a lot of value. Um, the other ones I was talking about, you may find support for outline. So 5px solid gold. Again, we're not going to get that showing up. There's no gold border being put around this. Now, sorry, outline being put around this. The difference between outline and border is that with border, you are actually uh, dealing with the CSS box model and you're pushing content away. So it's creating a space between the margin and the padding. With outline, it sits on top of everything. It's like floating on top. So it's not going to impact the box model or the space available on the page, which is why outline is listed as a supported property. But we're not really seeing that happen here. Uh, text decoration. So we could say underline, overline, line through, something like that. But again, it's not showing up in here for us. All right, so text shadow. I'll move that one up. And then all of these other ones aren't really going to work for us. So these ones are listed as supported. Oh, there is also a, a text emphasis property or text emphasis color. There's a few other properties um, along with text emphasis. These are listed as potentially supported except for in IE and Edge. It's not supported there. But these ones, we can get text shadow color, background color, text shadow, like I said, I don't find that very useful for selection. But at the very least, you've got background color and color. And if you add other parts into the selector along with that, that means that you can change based on dark mode or some other style property that you're going to use that changes from place to place in your page. Uh, it doesn't have to be a class that you're adding. Maybe there's two paragraphs and you've got a different class name on each of the paragraphs. And so the selection you want to change depending on which one of the paragraphs the person is selecting content from. It would work the same way. You put the class name and then selection. All right. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. A copy of this file, as always, is linked to down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.